Okay, everybody, welcome to Tutorial with Kelly Clark. I am going to answer the question, how do I put a linked file onto a worksite? All right, so in order to do that, the first rule of thumb is that you must have a linked file. So let's go up here to our Manage tab. And by the way, I'm in Revit 2020 right now. Okay, Manage Links, and then I already have one in here, but my file path is a little messed up, so I'm going to say Reload From find out where that actually is supposed to be. It's an older version, so it's upgrading it to my 2020 right now in the background, and it's doing its process right quick, it takes a minute. So let's just wait for that to happen. Do, 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 do. All right, it's coming, it's almost done. Just a few more moments. Okay, there it is, and now I've got a link and I can go look at that in my 3D. And as you can see, if I select that guy, here's my Revit link. Okay, it says linked Revit model. Now, uh, if you notice, uh, if I select this guy, Workset is not available here, okay? In order to do that, uh, the next step that I must take is I must enable work sharing. So I can come down here and hit that, or I can go to Collaborate tab, and then I can go ahead and say work sets, and then it'll go ahead and uh, move all the levels and grids to a work set named that and then it'll remove the remaining elements to a work set one. So let's hit OK. And that same thing would have happened down here. This is a shortcut to your work sets. Okay. All right, now I went ahead and created um, our default uh, work sets here for the shared levels and grids and work set one. Now, if I hit OK and I now have these work sets enabled on my uh, project, I can now select these guys and now work set uh, one or shared levels and grids are available as that. Now if I want just simply to add a, um, a link work set that I'd like, um, a specific one, I could say new and I'll just call it um, architecture link. All right. And it's asking me if I want it visible in all views. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Hit OK. And as you can see, I've got that one. Now, when I hit OK, it's going to ask me, do I want to make that one my active work set? And I'm going to say no, because work set one is where I'd like to start all of my drawings from. Because if I come down here, whatever one I have showing here is whatever my active one is. And that means everything I draw will start on this work set. So I can select this guy here and come to my work sets in my properties window and choose architecture links. And I can click apply or move out into that window. And if I click into the empty space and click again, you can see that it is indeed on that work set. Okay, guys, so um, I hope that helps and answers your question. 